I'm Madeline Judd Kowalski. I'm the Director of Curatorial Services at Meadowbrook Hall. So currently we're in the family garage, which was constructed by the family at the same time as Meadowbrook Hall in 1929. And today it is used for a few different events. During the holiday walk, we have a museum store in here. But right now, during the summer, we have a Dodge Brothers exhibit for as part of our Dodge Museum. A lot of people don't know the story of the Dodge Brothers, which really started right here on Oakland University's campus in 19, well, before 1914, with John and his brother Horace uh, secretly building and test driving their first car while still working for Henry Ford. They were the largest part suppliers to Henry Ford. When John's widow and her second husband Alfred Wilson built Meadowbrook Hall, they of course loved cars. It's really what built this campus was car money. So they built a very large four car family garage which would have had cobblestone floors. It has a second story on it which is where the chauffeurs could have had their domain and more storage space. Next to us is the visitor's garage, which we also use for car storage, and that was built after Meadowbrook Hall was finished by Frank Rewald and Sons, actually, which was the Rochester Construction Company. They've had a really long history with Meadowbrook, so they built that uh, in 1930, the year after Meadowbrook Hall was finished. And we actually have a really large collection of early Dodge Brothers memorabilia here um, that was saved by Matilda and her sister Amelia. In this exhibit, you'll see um, one of two Evans and Dodge bicycles that exists in the United States. We know of three in Canada, two here. One of them is John Dodge's at Detroit Historical Society. And the uh, Evans family, who descended from Fred Evans, they're actually Oakland University and Meadowbrook fans, so they loaned this bicycle to us. So it's really rare. Uh, right behind me is John Dodge's desk that he used at his office at Dodge, Maine in Detroit. His brother Horace's was, was identical to this. And you'll see a video that was made of the Dodge Brothers factory and the cars, how they were built. And at one point, the, it's wintertime and the cars all had to go up a test track and down. Um, it, was, it looks kind of like an old wooden roller coaster. And so in this video, you'll get to see that and the snow and ice, which is pretty incredible. And we have a photo of the Death Valley Dodge. We have a lot of different advertising memorabilia. We have stories of the Dodge Brothers in World War I. We have a mechanics coat, which is really rare. It's made by Carhartt in the 1920s for Dodge Brothers when they were working for, um, with Graham um, trucks. When we were starting this exhibit, I kind of, in a storage room, found a box and I opened this big wooden box up and it was filled with tools and there's a little note that inside that said John Dodge's toolbox. So that was really incredible. Still had his tools and it just looked very much like someone's toolbox. It had little bicycle spokes and things. They had a bicycle company first before they got into the car industry. So that was a really fun find. And the cars themselves are really special. So they're really worth seeing. Currently we have 10 cars in our collection. Some of them are on loan from the Detroit Historical Society and the Dodge Brothers Club. We work very closely with that club to help maintain the cars. Some of the cars are also stored in Dan's cabin and also in the Shotwell Gustafson OU Incubator Building, which was originally the home of Dodge Stables. And uh, some of the cars that we have that are quite special, nine of them are Dodges. Uh, so we have a very early Dodge Brothers touring car that was donated to us by the family of the great-grandson of Horace Dodge. It was his car and his widow and children donated it to us. It was the first car that came into our collection in 2014 for the start of this museum with the Centennial of Dodge Brothers Motor Car Company. And then some of the other, we just actually recently got donated two cars that I really love. It's a 1919 a screenside car that was made for export to England and it was used mostly in Oxford, England and then brought back to the United States around the 1960s. So it's a right-hand drive, it's really neat, has a great history to it. And with that was also a 1919 tow truck. So a lot of early cars, they came just and they all looked identical and they all pretty much performed identically and people would cut off the back and put a pickup truck back on it or something or put a tow truck mechanism on it. And so some of the cars and probably my favorite ones are those kinds of changed up cars, those are two of them. 
We also have a 1964 truck that was donated by Scott Kunzelman, the CEO of Oakland University, and he worked on that car and restored it with his son, and it is now a work truck for us, so we use it for all of the gardens and everything that we maintain here and any other events. And we also have a 1938 Packard limousine, and it's Packard because it was owned by Anna Dodge, who was the widow of Horace Dodge, and her son, Horace Dodge Jr., later had it. It's a really rare car. It's completely original, under 16,000 miles, and just really nothing has, has changed. It has a Boat Racing Association sticker on the inside of the dashboard. He was a big, big boat racer in Detroit, and then the car is just exquisite. The only photograph, the original photograph that we have of it is the day that it arrived at the, that Dodge family's home in 1938 and it's in front of the garage of that home and we have those garage doors so someday we'd like to have them all kind of put together and really tell the story of Havana Dodge's house in Gross Point. So um, that car is different for our collection but still tells a really great Dodge story that's unknown. Two of the very special cars we have in our collection are, uh, one of them is, is right next to me, it is a 1919 coupe that was the last car owned by Horace Dodge. And we also have the 1919 sedan that was the last car owned by John Dodge before they both died in 1920. Those cars are on loan from the Detroit Historical Society, so those are special. This summer is the last time that uh, the family garage will house the Dodge Brothers Museum. It will be temporarily moved to Danny's cabin uh, next summer, 2020, and some of it will, well, the visitor's garage will still be open and people can see the Dodge Brothers story there. And we are hoping to turn the Shotwell Gustafson OU Incubator Building one day into a, a much larger Dodge Museum so we can really tell the Dodge Brothers story uh, more eloquently and efficiently in that large space. The Dodge Brothers exhibit is only part of the Oakland University and Meadowbrook estate story, so you can always come into our Meadowbrook Hall itself. We have behind the scenes tours through much of the year. We have a holiday walk tour that starts the day after Thanksgiving and uh, ends right before Christmas. And that has all these outdoor lights and more than 50 Christmas trees throughout the estate. You can always follow us on social media, go to our website, get on our mailing list and learn about all the different ways you can engage with our story.